Ubrek ni misal yang si. Good evening, teacher. Mr. Tony, hello, sir. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Mr. Tony? I'm fine, teacher. Good. Did you have dinner ready, ready for class? Ready, as always. <laughs> A veces, aunque quisiéramos, but, but they're raining, it doesn't let us. Ya lista la tola de la ley. Ah, ya, ya está, ya. <laughs> ya tiene la ruda lista y todo eso. No, que se ruda, no. Eso es malo, pues. Ok, es el diablo. Charro, que, charro que ya llegó, su, su, Susana. <laughs> el sensei. Chiste ay, el sensei. Ay, ay, después, así como quedamos, ay. Va, me zumbaba el oído. <risa> es que me iba a dar una, una, una receta y una poción. Una... Hoy él va a recetar en lugar de. Ah, cabal. Le voy a. Mire, le voy a dar derecho de admisión. Ah, sí, va. Sí. Susana, di, di, dijimos Hola. que. ¿Te acuerdas lo que hablamos aquí? Mi tipita. Eh, sí. Ah, hay que hablar seriamente. Y no dejar su. Ajá. Su, su, su Voy a cobrar lo de la junta de vigilancia anual. I know, I know. Re Reporte, lo reporting, you know, reporting. Sí. Sí, sí. Sí, sí. ¿Cuántos somos por todos? Uh, 24. We're 24. Ah, pues sí, Susan, de ahí sale, ¿no? And with me, with me, you're 25. All right, with me, you're 25. Ah. También, también la más gorantilla. Of course. <risa> no, yo digo, para hacer un solo combo ahí que salga ahí bien chido. <risa> combo ahí va. Dice, lo que podemos hacer es que con bien. usted vamos ahí también, este. Para que no sientan así como muy pesado. No, para que no sientan como muy pesado. ¿Va? ¿Qué dicen? Somos tres, empecemos. Ana Yancy, diga, se une. <risa> y a venir Miss Evelyn. She's a lawyer. Sabe de leyes. Miss Evelyn. Ah. ah. No, pues no, Charro, ya. No, yo como es, de, como es de dinero, mejor me hago la sorda. <risa> Se le va el internet, y you no. Know. De, de casualidad. <risa> All right, so um, I have an activity for you, my friends, which is this one. Take a look at this. Um, I think it's a good idea to start making a comparison between the present and the past. As you can see over here. So it says past was where and could. All right. But you don't really have to use could in here. All right. For example, you have in the present, it says what day is it today? In the past, what day was it yesterday? In the present, what month is it now? And what month was it last month? And then you have question three, four, five, until question number eight. For example, uh, on question number seven, it says, can you ride a bike, All right? Puede andar en bicicleta. Mm. Quizá la rodilla no lo deja, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay, that might be the case over there, right? Um, or maybe your back, All right? Or la espalda, ¿verdad? No nos deja. Uh, or our weight, o nuestro peso, that's in, that's in letters, uh, ride a bike. So, but what if I ask you, Could you ride a bike when you were five? Y si le pregunto en la número siete, ¿podía usted andar en bicicleta cuando tenía cinco años? You may say yes, right? <laughs> este el cofal. Gran competencia que le están haciendo, mire, Susana. <laughs> That's a good competition, my brother, huh? Queda grabado, Mr. Tony. Yeah, a ver quién saca el marihuano, el teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In the mark, in the mark, in the mark. <laughs> All right, so as you can see here, so I think it's it's a good idea to compare the present versus the past. So let me send to you this image right away. Dejo de compartir. Vamos a ver si habemos varios acá. Yes, I think we have a couple of ones. So let's start by comparing Uh, the past versus the present or the pre present versus the past. I'm going to send this to you right now. Let me just one second, please. 
Okay. So just one more. All right. So welcome, welcome everyone. So we're just getting started on a Wednesday, June the 9th, if I'm not mistaken. And let's compare our present with our past. All right. Nothing really, let's say, relevant out, out of this. All right. Just, just some activity. So I'm sending this exercise to you right now. Just one moment, please. All right. All right, so it's going through over here. Yeah, just hold on, please. It's loaded. Yeah. All right. So the um, we, what we're gonna do is the following. So take a look, please. As you can see, you have eight sentences or or, or eight uh, items from the present and also the past. So you can start by writing in your notebooks at least from one through number eight. So in your notebooks or in your cell phone or your computer, start writing a list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, right? And then in the first column, it's the present, and in the other column, it's the past, all right? You don't have to write a question. You just have to answer it, right? Just fill in the blanks. For example, on the present, so what day is it today? It's Wednesday. What day was it yesterday? It was Tuesday, number two. One month is it now? It's June. One month was it last month? Valga la redundancia, si fijaste en el inglés pasa eso. It was May, right? Is it sunny today? El ejemplo de acá, verdad, es como que si estuvo soleado hoy, o de, puede decir no, right? It was clouded, right? No, it wasn't, it was clouded. Number three, was it sunny yesterday? I don't remember, but I think it was sunny, right? I don't remember. And you continue working like that. So right now, can I have a volunteer, please, that can help me read from question four through question eight in the present? Voluntario, por favor, que, no, que nos auxilie en las preguntas en presente hasta la número ocho, por favor, from number four until number eight. You may raise your hand with you know, zoom over here or just raise your hand manually, just like this, right? Un valiente, una valiente que diga yo, right? You know, I'm waiting, otherwise I'm gonna be choosing a victim. <laughs> si no, vamos a elegir una víctima. <laughs> All right. So I just need you to read the question, please. You don't have to answer anything. So just read the question four, five, six, and then and the other ones, so on. Mr. Miguel, go ahead, please. Uh, start with number four, please. Present only. Okay. Uh, where are you now? All right. Uh, where are your parents now? Are you at home now? Can you ride a bike? Can your teacher speak a lot of language? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> no. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. <laughs> okay. <thank you. laughs> All right. Yeah, that's a good question, by the way. Uh, as you can see, I adapted these. Uh, I mean, these these two uh, columns to our situation over there. All right. That's why Mr. Tony was showing at the beginning of the class that uh, little, um, I don't know, then about George Kofal, right? He was showing Kofal because of this, right? Can't you ride a bike? Let decía yo que quizás por la rodilla, por nuestro peso, por la espalda, or maybe because we don't have a bike, we forget how to ride a bike. Aunque según tengo entendido, estas habilidades, verdad, son las que nunca se olvidan, pero aquí estamos asumiendo no la habilidad de que usted se le olvidó, sino que no puede por cualquier padecimiento. All right? 
<laughs> so that's the point over there. Okay. Um, thank you, Mr. Miguel. So who wants to help us with the past statements from number four until eight? De la cuatro hasta la ocho, por favor. Me, teacher. Me, Sonia. Go ahead, please. Mm -hmm. We were you yesterday. We were we. Omar, where we... It's the same pronunciation. Uh, y, y aquí quizás me voy a detener un poquito. Just one second. Uh -huh. Where the lugar and where they fueron o fuiste o estabas, it's pronounced the same. Same pronunciation, right? Where were. Okay. Okay. Where were the yesterday? Were you at, at home last year? Mm -hmm. Could you ride a bike where when you were five? Casi no veo, five. Yeah, when you were five, yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Could you teach her speak English when he she was seven? Okay. All right. Okay. okay. I, thank you so much. So as you can see, everyone, what we're doing is a comparison. ¿verdad? Es una comparación. The present versus the past. So and individually, you're going to fill in the blanks. De forma individual, usted va solamente a complementar la respuesta. Or a, or a completar la respuesta, mejor dicho. Uh, present today is Wednesday. Last month was um, May. Yes, uh, let's see, yesterday was sunny, maybe. Uh, I'm at home right now, or I'm at the office, or I'm driving right now. My parents are at home in Usulután. Uh, sorry, I am at home now working. I can ride a bike. And uh, since I'm the teacher, I couldn't speak. No, I'm sorry, I can't, right? I can't speak many languages, only English and Spanish, right? Okay. But this is me, right? Entonces lo que vamos a hacer es responder esto de forma individual, ¿verdad? Lo pueden hacer así como yo lo hice, uh, uh, en un párrafo lo ponen uh, punto por punto, ¿verdad? Number one, Wednesday. Number two, June. Number three, maybe it, 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 was, it was sunny, right? Yes, it was sunny. It was a, it's, a, it's a sunny day today. Asumiendo que todavía no está de noche, ¿verdad? Por eso es que está today, right? Ya sabemos que está de noche ahorita. All right. I shared this with you already. What are you going to answer in the past? ¿Qué va a responder usted en el pasado? Dice, what day was it yesterday? It was Tuesday. Last month, May. Uh, it was sunny, yes. Where were you yesterday? Uh, let's see. I was at the school in the morning. In, uh, in the evening, I was at home. Where were, uh, let's see, where were you yesterday? No, where were they yesterday? They, vamos a referirnos en el número cinco eh, de su, nuestros familiares, all right? Number five is your relatives. Where were your uh, relatives or family members yesterday? Um, they were at home, okay? Were you at home last year? Esta pregunta, ¿verdad? Number six, this question, hace alusión, ¿verdad? A la, a la cuestión de la cuarentena. If you were at home last year during this time, or maybe you were working, all right? Recuérdense que muchos de nosotros no, ya no fuimos a trabajar a las empresas, sino que nos quedamos en la casa, el famoso home office. So that's what I'm talking about over there, all right? That's what I'm talking about. Um, number seven, could you ride a bike when you were five? Podría usted andar en bicicleta cuando tenía cinco. I would say no, all right? I couldn't. Could your teacher speak English when he was seven? No, all right? I couldn't speak English. Okay. So I answered these two questions already. ¿Verdad? Ya le respondí la ocho, ¿verdad? El presente y el pasado, porque esa me corresponde a mí. Las demás son ustedes. Okay. Let's see here. Esto en realidad no, lo tienen que mandar, no me lo tienen que mandar a mí, ¿verdad? Pero si usted gusta, si lo está haciendo en su cuaderno o algo, ¿verdad? Ahí puede compartirme las respuestas. 
ya vamos a ir a practicar, ¿verdad? En un breaker room. Ya va a quedar tiempo para ir a practicar. All right. So, um, you have this image already, all right, in your cell phones, okay? Mi recomendación es lo siguiente, ¿verdad? Como um, en la vida real hay que, hay que comunicarse. Usted lo está haciendo como punto por punto, pero lo, lo que yo le recomiendo es que lo hiciera como párrafo, si usted gusta, o por lo menos cuando esté en, lo, en los grupos compartidos, que comparta la información, ¿verdad? Así como que usted uh, está presentando algo, ¿verdad? Si comienza con el presente, podría decir, ¿verdad? So yesterday was Tuesday, this month is uh, May, it was a uh, sunny day uh, today, I'm at home now, my parents, I don't know where my parents are, si no sabe dónde está su papá, ¿verdad? All right. I'm at home, aquí prácticamente se repite, ¿verdad? Las number six and number four, si la número cuatro usted dice, estoy en, en casa, Número 6 no tiene que contestarla, ¿verdad? No la tiene que hacer dos veces. You see my point over there? All right. You don't have to do this twice. And then seven, I can ride a bike. And my teacher cannot speak uh, a lot of languages. Only English and Spanish, he says, right? And you continue with the other ones. Yesterday was a beautiful day, maybe. Or it was, it was Tuesday. Um... So today is Wednesday, right? So last month was May, uh, yesterday was cloudy and foggy, con niebla o neblina. I was at, uh, at, at home yesterday and I'm at home today, right? I couldn't ride a bike when I was five and my teacher could not speak English when he was seven, okay? Just like that. That's just an example. Solamente un ejemplo le doy ahí, ¿verdad? All right. Uh, you may keep on working on this one, but right now let's go ahead and, and, and take a look at the conversation that I have over here, please. Uh, pongamos la atención a la conversación, por favor. If there are any questions, oh, I'm sorry, if you have any questions about uh, the... Uh, present and the past activity, this is the perfect opportunity for you to ask me, please. Si tiene consulta acerca de, del ejercicio este, del presente y el pasado, pregúnteme, por favor. If, if you have no questions, let's move on, all right? This one, remember, this is the last activity we did yesterday. Conversation, did you do anything special? Hiciste algo interesante, algo fuera de lo común. That's the, the translation in Spanish, okay? So you have this conversation between Rick and Meg, you know, Megan. And based on the images or the two pictures, uh, Rick studied for his Spanish exam, but Megan went karaoke with her friends. But she's not very good at singing, as you can see there. No muy buena cantando, as you can see there. So let's listen up. Escuchemos, por favor. And um, let's pay attention to the pronunciation and the verse over there. And there are two parts for this. All right. Let's get familiar with this. Allow me just one second over here, please. Familiarizémonos, por favor, con la, con la conversación, por favor. Just one second. All right. Page 44. All right. Here we go. I'm going to play the audio in here. One, two, three. Unit seven. We had a great time. Page 44, exercise two, conversation. Did you do anything special? Part A. Listen and practice. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. How fun! Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? 
Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay. So Rick asks, take a look. What did you do last weekend, man? What did you do last weekend, man? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. Okay. Me la pasé bien. I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar. And I sang with some friends. That, that's what she's doing over here, right? Singing. How fun. Que divertido, bro. Que chivo diría aquí uno. Did you go to Lucky's? Si fue a este lugar. El bar, you know, that bar. No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our test is today. I forgot about that. Don't worry, you always get an A, but that simply sale bien aunque no estudia, right? About that. Now you have the questions over there, right? What did you do, all right? Did you go to, uh, did you go anywhere? Okay, these are questions. So this is an open question and this is a uh, closed question or a yes, no question. So you can see here, right? Did you go? Now let's let's listen to part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What does Meg do on Sunday afternoons? All right? We know, okay, sabemos, but now we know, we know that Meg went to a karaoke bar on Saturday night. But what about Sunday afternoon? Okay, let's find out what happened to, to her. Okay, so I'm going to play the audio and you're going to pay attention to what she did on Sunday afternoon. No sé si ya se percataron, pero en teoría la conversación está pasando en un día lunes. You know, Monday, Spanish class, and there is a test. And Meg is, is telling Rick, hey, I went to a karaoke bar on Saturday afternoon, on Saturday evening or night with some friends. Okay, today is, is there's an exam schedule and Yesterday, Sunday, this is what I did. Le está diciendo, el sábado salí, ¿verdad? Me fui de fiesta. Y hoy es el examen, le dice Rick. Right? Entonces ella le va a comentar qué otra actividad realizó el domingo en la tarde. All right? So that's what she's going to say right now. So you may take notes, please, and then share it with me. Si gusta, tome apuntos, apuntes, perdón, y me los comparte. All right? Here we go. Listen up. Page 44, exercise two, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What does Meg do on Sunday afternoons? So, Meg, what did you do on Sunday? I stayed home in the morning. I just watched TV and read. How about in the afternoon? Oh, I worked. I have a part-time job at the university bookstore. I didn't know you had a job. Yeah, I'm a cashier there. I work every Sunday from 2 to 5. All right. Um, I'm going to play this again. All right? Second time and the last time for you. So listen up, please. The question is, what does Meg do on Sunday afternoons? Que es lo que hace esta señorita, verdad, los domingos por las tardes. All right? Listen again, please. Page 44, exercise 2, part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What does Meg do on Sunday afternoons? So, Meg, what did you do on Sunday? I stayed home in the morning. I just watched TV and read. How about in the afternoon? Oh, I worked. I have a part-time job at the university bookstore. I didn't know you had a job. Yeah, I'm a cashier there. I work every Sunday from 2 to 5. Okay. Nice. All right, so she doesn't have a day off, by the way, maybe only the morning off. All right? 
So listen up, please. She doesn't have the Sunday off. All right? Only the morning. So my question to you, everyone, what does she do on Sunday afternoon? Teacher, she work, she has a work, a part-time work in a university bookstore sure. as a cashier from a two cashier. to five. That is correct, yes. She has a part-time job at the university bookstore from two to 5 p.m., yes? All right, all right. So she's a responsible uh, student. <laughs> or, and she's both, I guess, smart, all right? And, and I would say responsible sometimes, but she, she forgot to study for the Spanish exam, okay? You see, in the United States, they study Spanish. Over here, we study English. <laughs> so it's, it's the opposite. I am studying Espanol, aquí estudiamos inglés. <laughs> okay, as you can see that one. All right. So as a recap, solo para recapitular. So Meg uh, has a part-time job at the university bookstore from 2 to 5 p.m., ¿verdad? Tiene un trabajo de medio tiempo en la librería, ¿verdad? Remember, bookstore es librería, where you buy books or, or school supplies, donde usted compra los útiles, es la bookstore, librería. Library is where you go and read, do homework, or borrow a book, ¿verdad? Donde usted presta libros. Or we, we used, or on the, por lo menos solíamos, para eso era. <laughs> okay, o mucha gente, hay computadoras a revisar otras cosas, ¿verdad? Facebook, man. <laughs> All right, so, what are we going to do right now, by the way? Let's do one practice in a breakout room. So take a look at this, please. Let's practice this. Share the information about your present and about the past using this chart, all right? So share your information about the present and the past with that chart, please, in a breakout room, all right? That chart is already in, in the WhatsApp, okay, with you. Uh, number two, practice the conversation between Rick and Meg at least two times. So practice two times at least. One time you are Meg, the other time you are Rick. And try to make the right intonation, ¿verdad? Hagamos la entonación correcta, por favor. Los verbos en pasado son had, ¿verdad? Had, when, went to, sang, canté, um, went to again, right? The negative, didn't, we didn't, all right? Uh, didn't go, I stayed, no vamos a decir stay yet, no, stay, me quedé en casa, I stay and studied, studied, la D se hace como una R, studied, studied, all right? Um, forgot, forgot, right? Let me underline this, okay? Studied, stay, didn't go, uh, we went, did you go? sang, had, all right? Those are the verbs in positive, in questions, and in negative, all right? Las tres versiones tenemos ahí, ¿verdad? Negative, affirmative, and questions. Y las preguntas se dividen en dos. Yes, no questions, and WH questions. Preguntas de información, como el where, how, when, todo eso. Y la yes, no, yes, no question de did you, all right? Esa es una yes, no question, all right? So, si usted eh, va ingresando a la, a la reunión, ¿verdad? Esto usted lo tiene que eh, llenar. Información, ¿verdad? Que usted analice, ¿verdad? Acerca del presente y del pasado. El presente es decir, este día. El pasado, ayer. ¿Ok? Por su modo de sobredor. Por ejemplo, si usted podía andar en bici. Esto lo va a compartir con sus compañeros. ¿All right? Como la misma información va a ser prácticamente para todos. Esto lo vamos a hacer rápido, ¿verdad? Del presente y el pasado. Quizás vamos a ir pregunta por pregunta, ¿verdad? Ok, present. What day is it today? It's my term, all right? Uh, it's Wednesday. So, what about yesterday? En realidad no tiene que hacer la pregunta así como tan correcto, sino que what about yesterday, all right? Si se refiere a lo mismo, solo cambia algo. ¿Me explico? Ok. Decimos, la número uno dice, um, in, in the present, it says, what day is it today? What day is it today? Right? ¿Qué día es hoy? And then in the past I say, 
What about yesterday? ¿Qué tal el día de ayer? What about yesterday? ¿Qué día fue? What about? It was Tuesday. All right. Entonces, mi, mi recomendación es para que no haga usted la pregunta una vez más, mejor pregunta, haga what about, what about, ¿verdad? Para no repetir. Oh, well, so you don't repeat again there. So, let me send you to a break room right now and you practice this with your classmates and the conversation, please. All right? Exactamente, hemos estado aquí en la clase 30 minutos ya, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo vuela esto? Eh, just one second, come over here. Um, okay. Mientras hago los, los grupos, así le queda chance, uh, perdón, eh, oportunidad para completar este cuadrito, ¿verdad? Ok. Peace. Just one second. All right, so I'm making the groups right, the groups right now. So go ahead, please, and join the breaker rooms right now. All right, thank you. Yeah. Join the rooms, please. Thank you. ¿Qué tal? Hi. Hello, el reencuentro. Muy buenas noches. Hola, Muy buenas, buenas noches. Como comunicarles que si me quedo no. sin internet es porque estoy desde el internet de mi telefonito. Así es de que me van a pasar a disculpar. Híjole. Desde ya me disculpo. No, we understand, Miss Aray. Right, no hay problema. Aquí, aquí con Claudia menos, lo resolvemos, no te preocupes. Tal vez salve la clase, por lo menos. ¿no? Exacto. No me han sí, venido yo. a reparar el internet todavía. Desde el lunes. Desde el lunes. Bueno. Entonces estoy sufriendo aquí. Ni modo. Sí, sí la... cabal. Pero para mientras vamos a hacer acto de presencia en lo que se pueda. Yeah, en lo que se pueda. Mr. Cesar, can you share the screen, please? Sí, right. ahorita, espérame, que quiero, quiero, no sé por qué no me descarga la imagen. Ok. Pero ya ahorita, espérame, espérame. Dice, uh, yo igual me disculpo que ayer se me trabó esta cuestión. Sí, ha estado fallando bastante esto. Uh. Sí, es que, bueno, que, que estaba lloviendo. Yo le mandé, eh, uh -huh. antes le, le mencionaba que no le escuchaba y después se quedó eh, como la pantalla congelada. congelada. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ya después me dijo Saraí que me había estado llamando y qué pena. <risa> <risa> pero no, no la puedo descargar, uh -huh. pero... Me... Uy. Uh -uh. No. No, no la puedo descargar. Se me está como cargando. All right. Miss Claudia. Yo no puedo compartir. Yo lo veo en el celular. Ahorita no, intento. Pero, pero usted sí la puedo descargar. Eh, ahorita, ahorita está descargando. Sí, eh. Y yo la puedo descargar en el teléfono. Ok. Vale, tal vez si la ah, puedo. En el teléfono creo que sí. Bueno. Yo creo que es por el internet eh, que lo tenés un poco lento. Sí, pues lo que puede hacer es abrir el... el uh, Aplicación de Zoom, perdón, eh, eh, de abrir su teléfono, ingresar a su teléfono o algo, o tal vez. Deja desde el celular si lo puedo ver, porque ahí ya están descargadas. Te... Vale, vamos a ver si, si, si los mando esta imagen. Uh, Voy a ver si yo puedo. Zoom. All right. Ahí está, ya estuvo. All right.
Eh, empezaremos con esta Déjeme ver. Con... No estaba viendo su pantalla. Está, 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 está. Yeah, that's the one. Yes, that's the one. Yeah. Esa, con esa íbamos a comenzar, dijo el teacher. Yes, please. Yes. Esa es la número mm -hmm. uno. Yes. Ok. Um, solo que yo, o sea, no, yo ya empecé a contestar la, la mayoría, pero no sé cómo hacer lo que me. Lo, ya se trabó. Sí, lo escuchamos, lo escuchamos. Lo escuchamos, Mr. César. Le escuchamos. Okay. Este, lo empecé a hacer, pero no sé cómo hacer lo que usted pidió que hiciéramos que fuera como. No, lo que hagan es. Párrafo. Con eso yo sí. sí tengo mucho problema. Pero esa es una sugerencia. Lo otro solamente vayan pregunta por pregunta, ¿verdad? Con, con, entre ustedes. Damos que yo, yo le pregunto: ¿What day is it today, Mr. César? ¿What day is it today? It's uh, Tuesday. It's Wednesday, right? And then I'm going to ask you, Miss Claudia. So, what day was it yesterday? No. Wednesday. Yeah, what day was it yesterday? Wednesday. Pero ese es, ¿qué día es? Yeah, and yesterday? Thursday. Just, uh, Thursday. Que, que Tuesday. 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 Is June. It's June. 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 June yeah. It's June. June. Okay. Mr. Caesar, what month was it last? The last one? La, uh, Jul, July. No, I mean, the, la, no, the last May. one. La, last one was ah, May. Yeah, right? May. May. Correct. May. Right? Last. Ah, okay. Imaginemos que todavía está de día, no se oculta el sol. Number three. Is it sunny today, Miss Claudia? Is it sunny today? Se estuvo soleado hoy. Yes. All right. Yes. All right. It is. It is. Okay. All right. Yes, okay. it is. Yes, it is. And yesterday, Miss Mr. Uh, Cesar, was it was it sunny yesterday? If you remember. Um. Maybe yeah. Maybe no. Uh, right? Not right. Oh, yes. Uh, Not. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't right. O, o dinos a la verdad. No, no, verdad. No, verdad. Estuvo tal cosa. No, it was cloudy, mm. right? Claudia, así como Claudia, Claudia. Uh -huh. <laughs> Claudia. So, ¿Y qué significa eso, teacher? Nublado, Perdón. Nublado. Nublado. Ah, nublado, okay. ajá. Nublado. Pero de hecho ahora estuvo más nublado que ayer. Hoy estuvo más nublado, exactamente. Today it was cloudy. Right? It was cloudy today, even in the morning. Uh -huh. Yes. Yesterday it was, let's say, sunny, but today it was uh, cloudy, right? I think cloudy. so. ¿Verdad? Ayer estuvo más o menos así como tropaco, pero hoy sí estuvo bien nublado. Right. Mm -hmm. Claro. Nice. And, so you can do that, ¿verdad? Se hacen preguntas si gustan entre sí y así completamos. ¿verdad? Ok. Good. Y luego la conversación. Yes. All right. Perfect. Ok. Entonces, oh. para, para no volver a hacer la, la, la oración otra vez completa, sino que. Exacto. What about? What come eh, last year? Eh, can you ride a bike? Yes, can I you can. ride a bike? Yes, I can. Yes, can. Of course, right? Of But course. Ride a bike. <laughs> hey, only gentlemen <laughs> over here I can see, huh? It, there, it's only gentlemen, right? Yes, yes. Good. This is the power. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. uh, what about you ride a bike when you were five? Mm -hmm. No, oh, coding. Okay, you couldn't. All right. Okay. Can you teach her to speak a lot of, of a lot of language? Uh uh. No. <laughs> no, he can't. He can. No, only Spanish. <laughs> 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 yeah. What about the teacher speak English when he was seven? Mm. No. He couldn't. No, I couldn't. No, he couldn't. I learned to speak English when couldn't. I was 17. When I was 17. Okay. No. All right. No, he couldn't. Okay. Okay. Entonces hoy pasamos a la a la lectura, verdad? Uh huh. Exactly the conversation. You can move on to the conversation more. Yes. Correct. 
visualizan la conversación? No sé si está un poco... Yes, sir. Yes. Ahí está, bien. Yes, right. excelente. Ok, aquí nos vamos a turnar. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Yeah. We finished, teacher, and we were, we, we, we are, we are writing the answer. All right, uh, for the chart, the present and the past. So that's what you're doing right yes. now. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, we did Perfect. it. All right. Yes, you can go, I mean, I'm sorry, you can go the extra mile, all right? Okay. If you asked and answered the questions, in the answers over there, so you can write a paragraph, send it to me, so I could read it and, and mm -hmm. let you know if everything is correct, right? If you have time right now, all right? Because the only thing I asked you was uh, practice this and then practice the conversation. If you already did both activities, so you're good, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. We're finished. Okay. We're finished everything, mm -hmm. all right? Good. Thank you. We are ready. We are ready to yes. go back, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Let me just check one or two rooms very quickly, and then I will send you back to the to the main room, All right? Okay. Right. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay. How fun! Did you? Hi, teacher. Hello, Miss Susana. How fun! Did you go to Lucky's? No, we did. We went to that new place downtown. What about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. How is today? I forget about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. All right, that was very good. Okay, so I guess you finished everything, right? Yes, I have a question. Yes. The pronunciation is for stayed is stayed. Yes. Hemos escrito acá la pronunciación aquí stayed. Yeah, it's okay, but with and the study, next... study you start with study. Yes. Studied without the without the e studied. The presentation study. and study, yes, yes, and past and present. What is the difference in pronunciation? The difference of what, sir? Present and past. Ah, for study. study, for the study, it's the D, the D at the end, the D at the end. Because in present, you say, I study English uh, every day, but in past, you have to say, I studied with a D. I studied English yesterday, right? Okay. But you don't say studied, the, no, you just pronounce it, you know, a little over there, you know, you just pronounce it a little bit, right? Just a little bit. And it is the productivity. Uh, excuse me? Is the other activity? Yeah, which you already finished. I was in now. I was in the office. Uh, I was in the English class. You say you couldn't ride a bike when you were five, and the teacher can't uh, speak a lot of languages, and he he couldn't. Actually, I couldn't. You know, I couldn't write English. I mean, I couldn't speak English when I was seven. All right. Okay. Nice. Give solamente me en, la, en la número 5 dije esto porque hacía referencia a que es solamente uno. Yeah, correct. O sea, it's my. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, but everything is perfect, okay? Okay. That's great. Just give me like one or two minutes because I need to check the other rooms, all right? Okay, that's great. Thank you. Ni al, ni al, ¿cómo se Ah, no, ya vino Charo, ya. Dejamos para la otra. Bien normal, le sale. Ajá. Hey, my friend. Sorry. No, 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 that's okay. Uh, is, there no, anything, is there anything ¿sí? I can help you with? ¿Verdad? Anything I can help you, everyone. No? no. Necesitan asistencia. Oh, no, everything is okay. Right. No problem. Estábamos eh, recordando. 
Ah, los, las pasadas de chiquito. Que le decía que cuando yo aprendí a andar en bicicleta, Ajá. acá había un, un, no sé si usted lo conoció, teacher, o se recuerda, las cabinas de Antel. Sí, sí. Yo tenía de vecino a estos muchachos de Antel, entonces el encargado, ah, el operador, ah, ah. me dijo, ¿puedes andar en bicicleta? Y yo, no, no puedo. Venite, te voy a enseñar, me decía, cuando vengas de subir, te venís. Entonces, él me enseñó, pero al mismo tiempo le digo a los compañeros que, vamos a suponer, a decirlo de esa manera, él se aprovechó un poco porque cuando yo aprendí, ya él me decía, no, 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 Haceme un favor, me decía, <risa> llevar un telegrama, me decía, Ajá, tal parte, que, que lo puedes ir a dejar. Y yo, Por ah, eso le entrenó. <risa> Ajá. A él le correspondía y ya lo mandaba a usted, ¿verdad? Sin goce. Lo que pasa es que, correcto, no le gustaba ir en su hora del almuerzo. Ajá, 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 tiene razón. Y me decía, mira, hazme un favor, llévame estos telegramitas allá. Y... Y, ah, <risa> Chévere, decía yo. <risa> hoy Aunque comprende, bueno, por... Hasta hoy comprende. Aunque bueno, comprende. por un colón dice que sí iba. Dice. Ah, no, hombre, era buen pisto <risa> que le daban, buen pisto que le daban. Inclusive, yo, le, yo les, des, les digo a los compañeros de que recuerdo que en aquel entonces, al menos aquí en las tres cabinas que había, uh -huh. la llamada celular le costaba siete colones el minuto. Carísimo, bien caro. Bien caro. Sí, sí. Y le decía yo que era fácil identificar los números porque, bueno, en el caso del teléfono no le habían adaptado el octavo número. El octavo número, ajá. Y en el caso del, del, de las compañías, como que cada una tenía asignada sus números. El 6 era solo uh -huh. como Movistar, el 7 era solo para los de... Ajá, antes así era. Por ejemplo, eh, creo que el Movistar se quedó con el 6, si no me equivoco, algo así. O sea, ajá. Los números así son, como bien se, se, sí. se, se, se echa de ver, ¿verdad? Igual los otros, ¿verdad? Eh, qué interesante, qué interesante, la verdad. Ahí en el pueblo había una oficina en Berlín de Antel y yo tuve un profesor que me dio clases en, en la U, después fue compañero mío, que trabajó en Antel. A ellos lo jubilaron. Uh, Ajá. En, yo este en, amigo pasó después con Telecom, me parece. Ajá. Después. Él me dice que ahí se hubiera jubilado, o se hubiera terminado de trabajar, pues. O sea, por ahí le dieron el dinero, pues. Sí, sí fue chido, uh -huh. fue chido. Uh -huh. Y eso era nacional, ¿verdad? Ticha? Sí, era nacional, era nacional. Yo me acuerdo que me mandaban también a mí dejar los telegramas. Por ahí está el vecino. Ay. All right, let's go back. All right, welcome back everyone. Thank you so much for, for still being here, right? Gracias por estar aquí todavía, ¿verdad? Y también le agradecemos a la lluvia. All right, so here we go. Uh, sorry about it. So who would like to help me with the present uh, answers and with the past answers over there so we can move on? Can us uh, auxilia con las, las respuestas del presente y del pasado? Or everything at once, right? Y si se avienta, como decimos, you do everything, the present and the past over there. Okay. But if you think that you practice enough, we move on, ¿verdad? Si considera que ya practico suficiente, uh, avancemos, ¿verdad? Okay. We can advance Unit seven. to this. We had a All right. great. Sorry. But on this one, yes, I need to ask you uh, your help, right? So I need one Rick and one Mac for this conversation. All right. Me, teacher. Miss Floor, thank you so much. Who else? Me, teacher. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Miss Miss Portillo, but it was Mr. Tony who raised. Okay. No problem, no problem, teacher. Dele, se va a enojar la maestra, va a cobrar doble. Ah, llámale, Mr. Tony, and then Miss Susana can practice with somebody else, right? Uh, yeah, la verdad. Ella es buena gente. Okay. She can wait, all right? Es buena gente. Cuando me pasa la factura, ahí le acuerdo. Good. All right. So you're Rick, uh, Mr. Tony. Go ahead. So... Doble le va a tocar, Tony. Sí, sí, sí. <laughs> All right, Mr. Tony. Go ahead. So. Okay. So what did you do last weekend, man? Mm -hmm. oh, I oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. Mm -hmm. How fun. Did you go to likes to look? No, I didn't. 
we went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you did you go anywhere? No, no, I didn't go anywhere. I week I weekend. I just stayed home and study for today's Spanish test. Our test is today. I forgot about that. Don't worry, you always read, get and eat. Yeah, like, don't worry, I'm gonna help you, right? Leave about a copy, all right? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> now, online, right? Online, it's easier to do that, right? In línea, solo eso es hacen algunos por ahí, ¿verdad? Okay, I know about, I know about that, right? Because I work at a school, ¿verdad? Yo te soy profesor de, de colegio, así que I know that. I see that every single day, right? All right, so Miss Portillo, you're gonna be a, a Mac. So I need Rick over here, please, to practice with Miss Portillo over here. All right. Me. All right. Uh, let's see who says me, Karina. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Más o menos ahí conozco las voces, verdad? Así que. Here we go. So, uh, Karina, you're Rick, and then the Miss Portillo, you're Meg. Okay. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. How fun! Did you go to Lucas? No, we didn't. We went to the new place on town. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all my weekend. I just stayed home and I studied for today Spanish stage. test. Our test is today. I forgot about that. Don't worry, you always get a, an A. You always get an A, yeah, that's, that's good. Nice, thank you so much for your participation, everyone. everyone. So let's take a look at the grammar explanation over here. We have regular verbs, okay? Remember, regular verbs are the ones that uh, in past, they are spelled ed, most of them, ¿verdad? Regla de oro, los verbos regulares, como los que están ahí, ¿verdad? Studied, watch, stayed, shop, exercise. When you write them down in the past, you just add ed, ¿verdad? In English, you divide verbs in two categories, ¿verdad? En inglés, usted divide los verbos en dos categorías en el pasado. Regular, a los que se le agrega ed en su gran mayoría, and irregular, the ones that change their spelling, ¿verdad? Y los irregulares, a los cuales usted le agrega, perdón, cambia la estructura, ¿verdad? Y se mantiene a veces solo la base, ¿ok? So, these are regular verbs. ¿Por qué son regulares? Why? Because you add ed, ¿verdad? In theory, or in general, you just add ed. En general, solamente se le cambia la ed, solo se le agrega. But, for example, study becomes study it, right? Watch becomes watched, stayed becomes, I mean, stay becomes stayed, exercise becomes exercised, studied, studied, shop, shopped. Um, and I remember we covered the rules of the pronunciation over there. And some, some verbs are pronounced like the, con de al final. Some others are pronounced like with t, con una t, como watched and exercised. And some others are pronounced with a the, like studied. And igual que shop, tenemos una t, shopped over there. Uh, la regla más fácil es, si el verbo en presente se pronuncia con una t al final, como wait or visit, la ed va a sonar como una... Uh, Sílaba, ¿verdad? ED, eat, visit, visited, wait, waited, right? Uh, watch, watched, eh, talk, talked, listen, listened, con una D, invite, invited, right? Yo la sugerencia que les doy es, si usted no está seguro cómo se pronuncia un verbo regular en pasado, mejor pronúncielo como que sea en presente, en lugar que vaya a decir watch it, uh, Chop it. No, don't say that, please. All right? Don't say that. Okay? Um, for example, we say, on Friday night, 
voy a tratar de hacer esta actividad, ¿verdad? Y espero que ustedes me sigan. Uh, let me just make it a little bit bigger over here. All of the verbs are regular. Todos los verbos acá son regulares. Recuérdense, golden rule. Remember, golden rule. If it's negative, the verb does not change. Si es negativo, el verbo no cambia, ¿verdad? Solo se le agrega el didn't, and then the verb never changes, right? El verbo nunca cambia en negativo, ni en presente, futuro, ni en ningún tiempo gramatical. So, on Friday night, I waited for a phone call, but my girlfriend didn't call. I just stayed home and watched TV. On Saturday, I visited my friend Frank. We talked and listened to music. In the evening, he invited some friends over and we cooked a great meal. I didn't work very hard on Sunday. I did not study at all. I just walked to the mall and chopped. All right? So this that's the example that we have. And this is just a, a recycled activity. I remember we did, did, I'm sorry, we did that already. Hace como creo que el módulo pasado, más o menos vimos nociones del pasado. No sé si alguien se acuerda por ahí. Y este ejercicio creo que lo hicimos también. Así que en esta parte no me voy a atender mucho, ¿verdad? Porque hay práctica, creo que nos va a ayudar a entender esto. So if I were you, I would do this just in your mind, ¿verdad? Tratamos de hacerlo, ¿verdad? En nuestro, nuestra cabeza, ¿verdad? Solo en nuestra mente. Uh, so... Let me just say it one more time, all right? One more time. Uh, intonation matters a lot. Acuérdese que la intonación uh, uh, importa mucho. Lo voy a decir una vez más, right? So let me pronounce everything, all right? Say everything again. And then I'm going to ask a volunteer to help us read it. Y después ustedes se animan, ¿verdad? One student, two students, or three students, more than welcome, ¿verdad? Más que bienvenidos, si usted se anima a leer esto, okay? O si lo hace con su micrófono apagado, so there's no problem over there. So... Once again, let me read it for you. Vamos a leerlo por esto. On Friday night, I waited for a phone call by my girlfriend didn't call. I just stayed home and watched TV. On Saturday, I visited my friend Frank. We talked and listened to music. In the evening, he invited some friends over and we cooked a, a great meal. I didn't work very hard on Sunday. I didn't study at all. I just walked to the mall and shot. Cuando el verbo en pasado, la terminación es con T, como went, por ejemplo, aquí no estaba. Seguido de to, no vamos a decir went to, y vamos a decir walked to, de una sola vez, ¿verdad? Walk to the mall. All right? So, ¿alguien se anima? I have a question. Go ahead, Miss Susana. Porque no escuché bien la pronunciación de listen. With the, the, like David, the. Listen. 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 Yes. Listen. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Listen. Over. It's like if you say it in present, uh, Miss Susana, but uh, with a little the at the end, right? Like, listen to. The thing is, this is the following, all right? The thing is that listened and then you have two are always together. So uh, sometimes you can not pronounce that the at the end of listen if it's next to two. But that's just a really unnecessary pronunciarlo tan 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 marcado porque está el t, verdad? Que bien parecido a la de. Entonces usted dice, we uh, talked and listened to music, lo que puede hacer es como una pausa. So make a quick pause, una pausa así, verdad? Breve, a quick pause, right? One more time. We talked and listened to music, right? Pero cuando usted habla, trata de comunicar algo, ¿verdad? entonces no se va a quedar pensando tanto en cómo pronunciarlo también, verdad? Va a decir, we talked and listened to music, right? Lo que tiene que sentir usted, verdad, es que su lengua en realidad intenta hacer el sonido, aunque no se perciba por el oído, right? Eso es lo que uno debe hacer, ¿verdad? Y con eso usted ya le va a decir al cerebro, ok, you have to do your best, ¿verdad? Hay que forzarse para hacer los sonidos. Ahora, solo voy a pronunciar lo, los verbos por cuestiones de práctica. So, waited en cuestión de tiempo. Waited, didn't call, stayed, watched, visited, uh, talked, listened, invited, cooked, um, didn't work, 
didn't study, walked and shopped, shopped, All right? Shopped. Okay. Uh, Alguien se anima? Or I continue with the next exercise over here. All right? Somebody says me? see here all right so nobody wants to do it that's okay right that's okay and here we have some examples yes yep my mic oh karina okay yeah all right so you want to give it a try yeah wanna, but the, 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 okay hold on uh, let, me, let me let me uh make this bigger for you all right hold on see better now yeah. Go ahead. Okay. One Friday night, I waited for the phone call, but my girlfriend didn't call. I just stayed and I watched TV on Saturday. I visited my friend Frank when I talked and I listened to music and the evening he invited some friends over and we cooked, cooked a great meal. I, I didn't work uh, very hard on Sunday. I didn't start it at all. At all. Mm -hmm. at all. I just walked to the mall and chopped and shot all right that's correct uh that was very good by the way so just one thing when you say listen you just say listen uh, uh you don't say listen no, you say listen invited cooked um what else visited right the d at the end it's hardly pronounced but bien poco se pronuncia la d al final verdad visited all right pero la t como de talked es así verdad i talked Pero en el caso como de walked, I walked to the mall, ¿verdad? El to, el mismo, el mismo sonido, ¿verdad? Que el pasado de walk. All right? Just one tip, ¿verdad? Como una sugerencia o un tip, ¿verdad? Que les puedo compartir. Thank you so much, Ms. Karina. So let's take a look at this, please. All right? Let's take a look at the following, ¿verdad? Simple past statements, irregular verbs, ¿verdad? Entonces ya vimos los verbos regulares. Lo fácil de eso es la escritura, ¿verdad? Usted le agrega ed y estuvo. El verbo está en pasado. But the pronunciation is difficult. All right, let, let me tell you that. La pronunciación de los verbos regulares es un poquito tedioso. All right, but with irregular verbs, all you have to do is to remember or to memorize the spelling of the verb, ¿verdad? Pero con los verbos irregulares, lo que tiene que aprenderse es no la pronunciación en sí, sino que cómo se escribe. Y con base a eso, usted lo va a pronunciar. All right, no hay una regla que le diga se pronuncia así o el otro, sino que ya el verbo así se pronuncia, ¿verdad? Entonces, that's the good thing. For example, you have buy, bought, eat, ate, feel, felt, make, made, read, read. El, el leer en pasado se dice como el color rojo. All right? Like color red. Uh, write, wrote, see, saw, sit, sat, take, took. Um, verbos presentes acá. And the past over here, ¿verdad? De comprar, comer, sentir, hacer algo, fabricar, leer, montar, o andar en bicicleta o en moto. Ver, eh, sentarse, y luego tomar. All right? Or drink. So that's what we have over there, right? So the present is feel over here, ¿verdad? Sentir. Like I got a feeling, right? Eat. Read. El verbo leer se escribe en presente, en presente y en pasado lo mismo. It's the same spelling, pero la pronunciación cambia, right? The pronunciation is the one that changes over there, as you can see in there. Eh, let me just go to the top over there. Si usted gusta, puede escribir los verbos, ¿verdad? Over here, I can give you time or I can send this chart to you, right? Let me, let me just minimize this, right? We have the example over there, right? Hagamos una práctica, ¿verdad? Let's do some practice over here in, in like a mental exercise y un ejercicio mental, all right? Sé que quizás no son horas para estarnos esforzando demasiado en eso, pero let's try to do that. So, simple past statements, irregular verbs. 
Tratemos de ver la imagen y no leer mucho, ¿verdad? Lo que está acá. Basémonos, ¿verdad? I did my homework. I didn't do the laundry. I got up at noon. I didn't get up at 10. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. Saben, lo difícil de esto es que usted tenga la agilidad de cambiar el verbo en pasado como did y luego en, en negativo usted va a decir I didn't do laundry. Right? Ok. ¿Verdad? Eso es, ese, ese, that's the challenge, ¿verdad? Ese es el desafío o el reto que usted tiene. All right? So that's the challenge that you have. Let me choose somebody over here, right? That might help us practice. I'm going to choose three students. And what you're going to do is you're going to say uh, the first three uh, examples on the top. Va a decir el ejemplo del homework, del uh, getting up, going to the museum, right? The affirmative and the negative, right? The person that I'm about to choose right now. Vamos a elegir acá. Um, Let's see who was the last one to participate. Let's see. Miss Karina, tell me a number, please. Para hacer un poquito más justo, vamos a elegir un número. Tell me a number, please, Miss Karina. Five. Five, you said. All right. So let me show it to you how this is going to be done. All right. Para que no hayan amaños. All right. Take a look at this. Creo que todos alcanzamos a vernos, ¿verdad? En la, en la pantalla. Yes. And you see the attendance list over here. The participants. Alcanzan a ver los participantes, los nombres ahí. Yep. You see the name, so whether. So you say, one, two, three, four, five. Miss Carmen Lizette Hernandez. <laughs> you see? You see? The first one is me, number two, and then it changed now. All right? Uh, hold on. Let me share the screen over here. So tell me the first three statements over there, like homework, noon, and museum, the affirmative and the negative, please. As quick as you can, ¿verdad? Tan rápido como pueda. As quick as you can, with the right intonation. Go ahead, please. Okay, I did it my homework. I didn't go laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. You didn't go to the library. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. All right. Thank you so much. That was actually perfect. Miss Carmen, tell me a number from five to 15. Five to 15, please. 12. 12. All right. Vaya, para que no miren que haya maño. All right. Take a look at this, right? Uh, that's what I have. All right. Vamos a ver si puedo contar aquí. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Catering, uh, if you could hear us, all right? If you could hear us, Catering. Um, catering. All right, but if you're having problems, I will understand more. Or so, um, Miss Carmen, 11 or, or 13? Now. 13. 13. Mr. Luis, please. All right? Mr. Luis. Okay. Your turn, sir. Thank you. Okay. All right. The, the, ones, the ones below over there, like the classmates at home late and had okay. a picnic. Okay. Affirmative and negative. Please go ahead. Thank you. We met our classmates. Um, Es, es la segunda fila. Yes, sir. Yes, correct. Okay. We went our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You, you came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. They didn't have a party. Okay. Thank you so much. Mr. Luis, tell me a number from 15 to uh, 22, please, from 15 Six, to 20. 16, 16. 16, okay. <laughs> All right, that was good. Uh, let's see the participants over there. All right, let's see. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. Um, I think it's Miss Susana Portillo, right? Miss Susana Portillo? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Now you choose. Tell us three. And you choose. Usted me dice las tres que quiera o las hace, verdad, inter intercaladas. But you have to tell me the positive and the negative of the three you choose. Okay. Hold on. Let me share the screen. I'm going to share the screen. Usted puede ir en diagonal, verdad, o puede comenzar de acá y pasarse por acá, pero tiene que decir lo positivo y lo negativo también. Affirmative and negative. Go ahead, please. Okay. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. We meet our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. Mm -hmm. You got up and no. Mm -hmm. You didn't get up at 10. Okay. That was good, all right? We met our classmate. Met. That's the past. And the present is perfect, like you said. Perfectamente lo dijo. Meet, all right? Meet. Okay. ¿Verdad? Y, y, el, y de repente el cerebro lo, usted lo, lo piensa y dice, ok, yo lo voy a decir correcto y le sale la otra cosa. Right? So that happens, mm -hmm. right? That happens. Okay. okay, so thank you, Robert. So what I'm trying to, what am I trying to demonstrate over here? ¿Qué trato de mostrar acá? That in negative, you, you put didn't and then the verb never changes. I just need to clarify something in here, ¿verdad? El verbo do Es un verbo normal, igual que cualquier otro, ¿verdad? Es un verbo irregular, pero también casualmente cumple dos funciones. De una, de auxiliar, si se fija aquí, ¿verdad? Como el did, ¿verdad? Solo va acompañando para que le dé la estructura del, del pasado, ¿verdad? El did se ocupa en preguntas y en negativos, as you can see over here. So, I didn't do laundry. Did you do laundry? Did you do the homework? Haciendo preguntas. What did you do yesterday? Solo para, igual que el do en presente le dice a usted, ¿verdad? What do you do every day? El do le dice que es presente, right? Y si yo lo pongo en ING, what are you doing right now, ¿verdad? ¿Qué estás haciendo ahorita? That's a very important verb, by the way, el do. Todo el mundo le pone atención al verbo to be, ¿verdad? Pero, but do is very important, as you can see there, right? For the present and for the past, okay? Uh, is there any questions for me right now? Ya le vamos a compartir cuestiones de estructura, ¿verdad? All right. Oh, I, I always uh, forget, right? No nos vayamos a confundir con el pasado simple de cualquier verbo como work, uh, see, uh, go. Ok, no nos confundamos con, con, con lo del was y el were. Ok, son dos cosas distintas. Let me skip that one. Now, now. Let's try to do this discussion about your vacation. Okay? I'll be sending this image to you, ¿verdad? Le voy a mandar esa imagen que está por ahí. And what is the topic about? It's about vacation. All right? It's about vacation. All right. So, and we have uh, six questions in total. As you can see in there, it says, ask your classmates about their last vacations. Ask these questions or, or, or your own ideas. De sugerencias, tras seis preguntas, o si no, te busca, ¿verdad? Otras preguntas. I know that maybe you haven't had a real vacation since COVID-19 started, right? Desde, desde el COVID, ¿verdad? Que quizás nadie tiene o hemos tenido una vacación real. Or having or, or the opportunity to travel somewhere else. O la oportunidad de viajar a algún lugar. Okay due to COVID-19 restrictions, all right? But let's talk about your last vacation, all right? La última vacación que usted pudo, verdad, eh, tener. Question number one, where did you spend your last vacation? How long was your vacation, verdad? Por cuánto tiempo estuvo de vacación? Who were you with? ¿Quién lo acompañó? If you were with someone, right? Like, I don't know, a family member or something like that. What did you do? ¿Qué hizo? Right? In there, if you did something, I don't know, uh, for a couple of days, you have to explain and share with your classmates. And then, what did you do? Es ¿Qué hizo? ¿verdad? Algo memorable. Right? Something memorable. Okay? Um, how was the weather? Si se acuerda, si hizo buen tiempo, ¿verdad? Buen clima. Right? How was the weather like? Over there. How would you like to do 
I'm sorry, what would you like to do on your next vacation? Si usted dice, no me alcanzó el tiempo para tal cosa, like you didn't have enough time. And the last question in there, I'm, I'm asking you, okay, ¿qué le gustaría a usted hacer en su próxima vacación o a dónde le gustaría ir, verdad? Esto me refiero acá, ¿verdad? Con what would you like to do? Ahí, ok. Who had an interesting vacation? Y al final usted va a llegar a la conclusión. You're going to get to the conclusion. Ok, uh, fulano, fulano, or my friend, or miss, or mister, had an interesting vacation because of this or because of that. Ok. Uh, let me ask somebody over here. Um, that would like to help us here. Mr. Edwin, all right. Let me ask you, sir. Is everything clear what you're what you're gonna do right now with this activity? Or do you yes, have sir. any or do you have any questions for me? No questions? No teacher. All right, so I guess it's everything clear, right? So in the end, what you're gonna uh, find out, lo que va a ver igual en teoría es who had an interesting vacation, verdad? Quien Tuve, verdad, una vacación ahí interesante, verdad? That's, that's the point that I'm trying to make right now. Uh, one second, please. And again, let me, Jim, let me just tell you this. If you want me to take a look at what you're writing, send it to me, please, in private. Si ustedes gustan que yo les dé retroalimentación extra, verdad, así como me han mandado un par por acá, I can give it to you. Okay, I can give it to you. All right, today or tomorrow. Uh, I think I sent the image already about the vacations over there. So I'm going to send you to the breaker room. Y aquí sí le voy a pedir, verdad, si um, el internet no nos falla, verdad, porque pues eso puede pasar a veces por los datos y todo eso. Que ingrese a la, a la sala compartida para que pueda practicar y ayudarle a sus compañeros, verdad. Okay. Porque aquí no se trata de que usted va a escribir, uh, sino que de que alguien le pregunte y la otra persona va a escribir de usted. All right. So it's asking answers. So it's like an interview. Ok. Y si es demasiado personal o privado, igual usted se reserva eso y puede, no sé, inventarse algo. All right. It's up to you. Ok. <laughs> All right. So um, let me just double check the breaker rooms in here. All right. I think it's okay, right? If I keep the rooms like they were before. Creo que los mantenemos, right? We keep them just like that. Yep. Yep. Okay, good. So you don't mind over there. Uh, one second. Okay. <laughs> Why not, Mister?
my vacation, my vacation, staying in the house. So yeah. He stay. Mm -hmm. I stay in the house in my vacation. Ah, pues no, no, no aplica usted con la de interesting vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, sí, Daniel dice que fue a San Diego. Ah, San Diego, San Diego, California. San Diego no, California. San Diego Beach. <laughs> <laughs> ah, pues no, no califica tampoco. Mentira, mentira. <laughs> no, no me pude colgar en el ala del avión. <laughs> Ah, pues mire, yo le voy a decir que fui a California, pero allá en Escuchamba. There's a place called California. Yeah. Yes. It's near uh, Santiago de María. Yeah. Okay. Bonitos lugares. Yes, yes, yes. All right. No, era broma. Acuérdese, no lo hace el lugar, sino que al final lo que usted comparte. ¿no? No, yo sé, teacher, Esto tranquilo. Está Esto está de más. Es para despertar, teacher. Yes, correct. <laughs> All right. Mr. Eduardo. Okay, is... by the night. <laughs> I went to Disneyland, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, next question. Uh -huh. Okay. How long was your vacation? Too short, demasiado corto. <laughs> Two weeks. Ah, that's okay. 15 days. Uh, traditional city? Yes. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. It's co es como pueblear. <laughs> Bien bonito, todo colonial. In the town. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the last one. No, how was the weather? How was the weather? Uh, was a good weather. I mm -hmm, don't mm -hmm. remember. <laughs> yeah, it, it didn't rain. I'm sorry. It didn't rain, right? So no rain, not right. No rain. Okay, so so no. it was a good weather, man. Good. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Good weather. If it was sunny and cloudy, it was okay. All right. I think so. I think so. Right. Ni siquiera tan soleado, buen tiempo. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay. And it was. It was. It was not that hot. Not even hot. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. Okay. What would you like to do on your next vacation? Vacation in Mexico <laughs> again. Going to Mexico yes. again. All right, that's good. Uh, then again. <laughs> nice. Again. Okay. I'm finished. We finish. Sure. Great. All right. And you ask yes. each other questions. You ask each other. Yes. Nice. We, uh, right. First, Sonia asked me, asked me, and after that, I asked. That's yeah, good. you asked her, right? Good. What you can do is report the information to me, all right? Like, so Sonia went to Mexico to this place. She's ah, okay. there for a week with her family or alone. Um, okay. And then just, okay. like, right? Like a paragraph, all right? Please. If you... Yo le envío el mío y él envía el suyo o no, lo cruzamos. No, 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 Miss, yeah. you cross it, you cross it, yes. Okay. Miss Carmen. Repítame yeah. que no le apunté. Yes, because that, that's ah. the idea. That's it. And, and, and at the I, end. I wrote. Yeah, at the end. Mm -hmm. Listen, so who had an interesting vacation? Ah. Okay, who had an interesting vacation? Maybe both. Both. Both, all right. Both. Yes. Now, take a look at this. But take a look at this, all right? So I'm going to explain a, or show this example, you know, how you can do it, all right? How you can do it, like this is a, like a post that you can do, like greetings from Mexico, right? Uh, it's like if Miss Sonia is still in Mexico, right? So I'm, I'm having a great time 
yesterday or last year I went to Mexico, I don't know, Acapulco or something, right? Uh, and then you start yeah. telling what she did, right? Okay. And then you close it. Did this was an interesting vacation or this was a great vacation, right? This is just an example. It's just an example. Okay. Uh -huh. It's just an example. All uh -huh. right. Okay. okay. All right. Uh -huh. All right. So I'll be back. Okay. Es correcto. Es correcto. In the next, in the next in how long was your vacation? Uh, the answer is his vacation was two days, very short. Only two days, very short. Yes. Who yes. were you? And who were you with? I su respuesta es where aquí tengo dudas. His bueno sería where his brother. Mm -hmm. Did you know he where mm -hmm. his brother? He was he was with his brother. How how do you say uh, cuñado? Cuñado. Cuñado, brother, brother in law, brother in law. Cuñada, sister in law. Sister in law, correct. Correct. Uh, yes. Okay. With yes. my brother and with my was his brother and sister in law, right? Sister in law. Mm -hmm. Sister in law. Sister in law. Sister in law. Sister in law. Law. No. Law. Ah, sister in law. Law. L A W. Lay. Correct. Law. Sister in law. The lay. La de amor. Lay. No. <laughs> That's something else. Okay, no había entendido bien. Okay. Okay. The next, what did you do? Bueno, no, no, este es la otra. Sí. What did you do? He stay only his house. What, what did you do? Okay. Sí, okay. Uh, the next, how was the weather? We were, okay, what did you do? We were at, we were, okay, we were eight and boys. Carne is eight or, or meat? Eight. We ate, uh huh. Okay. Can you repeat, okay. please? We were eat eight. No, we ate. We ate meat. We meat. Yeah, we ate meat, right? O sea, meat. Com uh, comieron. Carne, Carne. Okay, yeah. We ate, or you can say we had meat for lunch, or we ate meat for lunch. Okay. In past, we had meat for lunch. Correct. You can say that. Mi respuesta sería they were eat meat. Uh, your answer yes. would be we ate meat. Eight. Sí, pero como yo estoy copiando la respuesta de él, sería ellos comieron. They. La... they, they they were eight no they ate meat okay they ate meat okay yeah yeah correct but a steak you can say steak which is the meal right okay and the last one what would you like to do on your next vacation okay star roller star the Brawl Star is a, a game, mechanic game. Mm -hmm. Teacher, how do you say Montaña Rusa? Roller coaster, ro roller coaster. Roller coaster. Roller coaster, yes. Roller coaster. A lot of adrenaline over there, I can see, huh? And that's it. Excuse me? Okay, um, and the last one is, what would you like to do on next vacation? Mm -hmm. 
¿Cómo es right. en español? ¿Qué le gustaría hacer a usted en su próxima vacación? Dormir. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Dormir todo el día. I, I would every, like every day. O como dice? All day. All day. I sleep all day. I like in travel. Traveling is teacher or travel? Travel. Travel. Right? You can say I travel to or you can say I went to. It's the same thing. I went to. I went or, or to I travel. travel. No, so let's say I went to. So I'm, I went to Me Mexico or I went to Guatemala. I went to the United oh, States. Okay. Or I traveled to the United States or I traveled to Mexico or I traveled to... Uh, I don't know, Santa Ana, but that's where you live. <laughs> yeah, fast, 100%. <laughs> Quiere venir a conocer la copa, va? <laughs> Mira, besarla, sí. Next month. <laughs> Next month on July. Yeah, sí. Oh, va a ser nada. Good. Yo no sé por qué la gente le hace pelea, fíjense, así se lo digo. O sea, pero sí. no, me refiero a la gente que se tira piedra, piedra va, y todo eso. Va. Sí. Qué bueno, ¿verdad? Que, que, que ganen otros y que... ¿verdad? Sí. That's good. Hay que darle chance a todos. Yes, correct. <risa> más que a nosotros 11 años esperando. Sí, un gran montón. Imagínate, yo estoy esperando que el Firpo, aunque sea a los 20 años, gane. ¿no? <risa> sí, todavía bueno. existe. Sí, exacto. Es que compró la... Compró la... La categoría. <risa> All right, good. Um, but just one thing, remember that, for example, if I ask about Anayansi, I'm going to report about your vacation, Anayansi. Or for example, if I ask Karina, I'm going to report Karina's vacation, and just like that. And Karina, if she asks me, if you ask me, Miss Karina, you are going to write about me. You still escribir acerca de mí, and just like that. Okay. Okay. Si les pregunté a las dos. Both, all right. It's okay, both, all right? And remember, what you're trying to find out is who had an interesting vacation. Maybe it's me, or maybe it's both Anayansi and Susana, right? We'll see. Okay. Okay, good. Karina. Yeah. What would you like to do in your for what? Well, Entonces, I need your help. I need your help. I need your help. I need your help. I number one, eh, ahí se tiene que contestar con el did, o siempre va, no, vamos acuérdense a... que el did solo es para el de adorno, para que le diga. Es que el auxiliar. Es el auxiliar, es solo es un adorno. Okay. okay. Teacher, adorno no nos no pongo, porfa, aquí estamos en otro. Ah, no, fíjese que lamentablemente, no, mire, fíjese que en la vida real, <risa> en la vida real yo le puedo decir, ¿verdad? Um, where did you spend your last vacation, right? Y una sola vez le hago el verbo en pasado, ¿verdad? Y ya usted me entiende, pero eso es cuando usted, cuando ya hemos practicado y usted ya decide conscientemente no usar el auxiliar y, y, y dirigirse okay. en pasado. Como cuando yo le digo, you did the homework, ¿ah? Huh? ¿Hizo la tarea? Hmm. No, no, yo le digo, you didn't, you didn't call me, right? No me llamó. Le estoy diciendo, ¿por qué no me llamaste? Uh -huh. Pero es parte uh -huh. del idioma, pero digamos que ahorita es como que para que nos aprendamos la estructura, así lo ponen, ¿verdad? Porque es un libro y porque es cuestión formal, pero en la vida real le dicen, ok, ¿y español last vacation where? Ahí ya le cambio hasta el where, lo digo al final. Uh -huh. Para fines didácticos. Ajá, para fines didácticos, exactamente. Exactamente, Mr. Nelson. Yes. Pero más que nos quebramos okay. la cabeza ahí. ¿eh? Sí, claro, sí. Gente. Ajá. Es, okay. es, okay. Eh, primero hay que entender la estructura y después cuando usted ya se familiariza, escucha videos, se escribe un poquito más, ya usted ya se va a dar cuenta que puede jugar con el idioma un poquito más. Y es lo que uno hace en español. Right. Okay. Exacto. ¿No podría, por favor, regalar la respuesta? Como Toda. ejemplo, no, solo como ejemplo de la 1 para tener la idea. De la 1, sí, claro que sí. Usted dice, uh, vale, vamos a la pregunta es, where, where did you spend your last vacation? Ah, solamente dice el lugar donde usted fue. Uh, 
in Mexico or in San Salvador or in Los Planes, right? Oh, do you know, so oh, ocupa el verbo, dice, I spent uh, my last vacation in Cancún, <laughs> in la vida. <laughs> ah, ¿dónde? ¿De dónde? ¿De dónde? Perdón, o sea, que no me está preguntando cuánto gasté en la, vaca, en la mi última vacación. No, ¿dónde usted pasó? Where? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde la pasó? ¿A dónde fue? Y el spend, entonces, ¿qué es juego que tiene? Spend tiene, tiene varios, varios significados. Vaya. Cuando usted pasa tiempo con su familia, usted dice, I spend time with my family, porque es el tiempo el que usted invierte y el que gasta, digamos. ¿Verdad? Y spend de, de dinero, cuestión monetaria, es gastar, ¿verdad? Ok, spend. Pero en este caso es donde usted pasó, ¿verdad? Su vacación. Mm -hmm. Spend time usted es pasar tiempo. Pasó spend tiempo, time, ¿verdad? Gastar Ahí. dinero. Mm -hmm. Exactly, it's both. Mm -hmm. ¿Y cuál es la pista? El where. Ok. La, la otra ah, para guiarse. Ajá, el where, ¿verdad? Yo también le podría preguntar, where did you go on your last vacation? ¿A dónde fue? Pero aquí, le está, está, aquí le está diciendo, ¿a dónde usted, verdad, pasó el tiempo en su vacación? Mm, interesante. Uh -huh. Y la otra vez, how long was your vacation? Y aquí le dice, ¿por cuánto tiempo? You say, two weeks, uh, or just one weekend, or just one day, or never. <laughs> All right. That could be the, the, the uh, case, right? Podría ser el, el caso. Y aquí dice, who were you with? ¿Con quién fue usted? Maybe alone or with your family. Se les escapó, no sé. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Y de ahí luego la, 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 la cuarta, ¿verdad? Que comienza en la segunda columna es, what did you do? Ahí usted puede decir, mire, yo descansé, comí, no sé, bebí algo ahí. No, I, I don't know. Dance, si sí es cuestión de playa, ¿verdad? But if you just stay home, comer y comer, ¿verdad? <ríe> yes. En cuestión del clima, nos referimos si el clima, digamos, tú, no, yo, o sea, no estuve en temporal, pues, o sea, de repente estuve en vacación, gran temporal, ¿verdad? All right. It was raining too much. That's the point. And the last one significa qué le gustaría a usted hacer en su próxima vacación. What would you like to do on your next vacation? Usted dice, nothing, right, nothing special, just stay home, resting, y que me sirvan, dice usted, ¿verdad? Está bien, that's okay, ¿verdad? Eh, por, eh, mm, con respecto a lo de la pandemia, creo que casi nadie tuvo vacaciones el año pasado. ¿verdad? Sí, pero digamos que aquí nos estamos refiriendo que su última vacación, digamos, como que si usted tuvo... No importa el año, en este importa, caso. Importa, o sea, okay. no importa. Solo, solo una pregunta. Nelson y Flor, confirmen, por favor. Ajá. Yes. Yes, ok. Nelson. Yes. Ok. Ready. Ahí está. Vaya, vale, eh, dice que aquí la palabra vacación en realidad sí significa, ¿verdad? El tiempo que usted le dan, ¿verdad? Después de un año, los 15 días, pero significa el, el, una experiencia, ¿verdad? Digamos, que usted tuvo cuando tuvo tiempo libre. Básicamente. Yo no, okay. sé, yo no sé qué es eso de las vacaciones, ahora que recuerdo ir a la playa o algo así. Ajá. Está mal ahí, dice. It happens, right? It happens. I'm going to check another room. Sí, yo sé, ¿verdad? Igual cuesta mucho que le den a uno un par de días. Ah, no, eso no es mucho el problema. Ah, the money, right? No, tampoco. No, COVID. Ya no sé qué es eso de. O sea, no, menos. <laughs> Desde que saludé ah, esto. I see, I see your point. I see your point. Tenga cuidado, lo están escuchando por ahí. Sí, solo, no problem. Ahí uh, log logré liberarme tiempo. Fui All uno right, de so. los caídos, pero ya regresé. All right, so uh, let me give you a couple of two minutes. Yes, sir. Eh, fuera de, de, de este contexto, pero tengo una duda. Dígame. ¿Cuál es la diferencia o, o depende del contexto, tal vez, everyone y everybody? Lo mismo, es eh, mm. prácticamente. Es o sea, Yo sé que es lo mismo, pero, pero ¿hay alguna forma de, o es que da criterio de quien lo usa o, o depende del contexto? Que, según lo que yo sé, porque le daría, uh, 
o sea, fuera mentira si yo le dijera, mire, de esta forma o de la otra se ocupa, se ocupa ¿verdad? Eh, no, en realidad desconozco si es por algo, digamos, que usted dice everybody, everyone, ¿verdad? Yo lo ocupo como sinónimo, sí, he escuchado como sinónimo, pero podría ser que tiene su, 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 su particularidad, ¿verdad? Bye. Eso es. El, estaba viendo anteriormente que el spend, según los ejemplos que nos estaba dando, lo que nos estaba comentando, eso viene siendo como la palabra de shot, parece, disparar, ¿verdad? Ajá, ajá, shot. Que esa ta, sh shot, que esa también cuando se conjuga con Trabo. otro. Ajá. Con otro. Quiero ver, shot es el verbo, ¿verdad? Ajá. No. Shoot, shoot, shoot. shoot. Cuando lleva una conjugación con algo más, puede variar la palabra, no específicamente. El, el... Por ejemplo, un chat es de disparo, de, que disparó, y también un chat es de oportunidad, y un chat es como el chat de tequila. Este. Vea. Entonces tiene varios ah, significados. Es... Ajá, exactamente. Es bueno. <laughs> Pero, Mr. Nelson, I don't know, but I can look for it, right? Because I say everyone or everybody, right? Todo el mundo, or everyone, ¿verdad? Todos nosotros, podría también ser, ¿verdad? Entonces, everyone, right? Yo más que todo en conciertos veo que utilizan el everybody. Sí, como everyone, like everybody, like everybody, ¿verdad? Todos, ¿verdad? Everyone. Everybody welcome. Yo creo que everybody es más informal y everyone es como más formal, ¿verdad? Pero eso soy yo que estoy especulando con eso, ¿verdad? Mm. Eh, por ejemplo, cuando yo les digo que everyone, let's do it, pues no les digo everybody. Porque everybody es como que cada cuerpo, ¿verdad? Como menense, ¿verdad? Que ah. everybody. ¿verdad? Everyone es como cada uno de ustedes, ¿verdad? Dicen, nos van a poner canciones aquí. No, we can't. <laughs> Por derechos de autor no podemos. Ah, perfecto. Right. I'll be back, all right? Because I need to check another room, all right? Okay. Good. Thank you. Nice. Ah, sí. No. Ah. <laughs> La Casa Blanca. <laughs> Ni nada, no, dice, pero que hemos mandado. Ahorita te lo voy a mandar. Dije, dije, dije que es lo más inmediato. Ajá. Imagínate ver si que es lo más inmediato. Claudia fue a México para vacación. Vamos a ver. Claudia. Eh, no. No, sí, sí, pero no le digan, no le digan, no le digan. Se queda dice, en México. Dice, ¿Ah? Se queda sí, corto, sí, esto sí te lo vamos a ver que se queda corto. Ah, de pasada iba, para los United. Para los United se fue. Para los United se fue. Sí. Excuse me. Excuse me. Pero, pero ¿sabes sabe lo que le digo? Es que Ajá. tengo que conocer lo más inmediato que tengo. Y me dice, ¿qué me dijo César? Es que me dijo, que ella dijo que Casa Blanca. Casa Yo le digo, ah, la Casa Blanca. No conozco. Ajá. Yo, Casa Blanca, WhatsApp, me dijo. <risa> Yo, como ya fue acá. All right, so welcome back, everyone. Um, I'm sorry if I kept you waiting, ¿verdad? Si lo estuve esperando demasiado, but I was checking some uh, breaker rooms, and some of them, you know, we had a good talk, ¿verdad? En algunos se puso buena la plática por ahí. So that's why. <laughs> okay, I apologize por for that. Eso, eh, entonces. Mm. Okay, so may I have three volunteers, please, uh, one by one, ¿verdad? Uno a uno, that can report the information about their classmates okay so Me teacher. go ahead please miss Sonia. yes your microphone is muted uh, miss Sonia. i don't know why okay, okay. yeah i am um, talks about carmen vac carmen's vacation okay uh, Carmen went on vacation to La Ventana Beach in the city of San Miguel for four days and three nights. Mm -hmm. She had a good time with all her family and friends. Okay. Um, she enjoyed the beach, the pool, and the seafood. Mm -hmm. uh, the days were always sunny and wait to go to La Ventana Beach again. Oh, nice. So it was a perfect vacation in there, right? Yeah. So, and you said that she went with her family, you said, yes? yes. Or alone? With the family? Uh, 
her family her okay. family and uh, friends and friends oh okay all right mm -hmm. all right so you have you had a huge budget right that consola kobe <laughs> yes that's good right thank you so much miss sonia i appreciate your help brother now miss carmen okay. speak about your vacation right now i can see that go ahead <laughs> yes yes well sonia lasso spent her vacation in mexico city mm -hmm. she was there for five days Okay. She traveled to Mexico alone, but met her friend in San Miguel Allende, which mm -hmm. is a traditional city of Mexico. Colonial, right? Uh, what? It's like a colonial city. Yes, it's okay. yes, a colonial city. Uh, Sonia visited uh, the aquarium and different towns too. Um, during her vacation, the weather was very good, and she would like to go to Mexico in her next vacation again. <laughs> so she has a very interesting vacation. All right. So both of you, I mean, uh, yeah, you had interesting vacations in there, right? Yeah, a dream vacation. We're going to a colonial town in another place and enjoying the nice weather with your family members. It's like in your bucket list, brother, in your bucket list. I see that. Thank you so much. All right, so can I have another volunteer or more than one though with her, please? Right. Uh, just one thing, you know, a commercial. Uh, yes, Miss Karina. Remember to send your paragraph of your classmate to my WhatsApp, okay? So I can check it out, all right? Because I need to check your grammar, all right? So that's going to be my homework, not yours, you know, my homework for tomorrow, okay? To give you the feedback. Miss Karina, go ahead, please. Okay, I will talk about the Anna Yancy's vacation. Okay. The, the last vacation of Anna Yancy was on Ruinas de Copan, Honduras, mm -hmm. during two days with her daughter. Mm -hmm. The weather was sunny and they were visited all the place into the archaeological site. Okay. The next vacation, Anayansi would like to go Nicaragua. To Nicaragua. All right. All right. So she uh, stayed in Central America, right? <laughs> in our neighbor, yeah. Honduras in there. Okay. Copan, yeah. you said. <laughs> All right. Copan. Nice. And, and uh, let me ask you, thank you so much, Ms. Karina. Why, why uh, Nicaragua, Anayansi? Why do you want to go to Nicaragua? Is there something, I don't know, you would like to go to, Anayansi, in Nicaragua? Eh, son unas playas, pero se me olvida <laughs> cómo se llama el lugar. <laughs> All right. Okay. Como fue el año pasado, íbamos a ir antes de la pandemia. Ah, uh, yeah. Me hubiera agarrado, pero gracias a Dios, <laughs> no fuimos. You didn't go. <laughs> yeah. That's why we say it in Spanish, right? No hay mal que por bien no venga, right? It happens, right? It happens sometimes. All right. Thank you so much. Um, let me just take this away. Okay. Can I have another volunteer over here, please? Or I don't know, maybe an Ayansi you would like to talk about someone, someone in here? Okay. Okay. Um... Where did you spend your last vacation, uh, Dr. Margarita? Mm -hmm. I was in the beach, Metalillo. In Metalillo. So we can say, Ana Yancy, perdón que le interrumpa, we can say, eh, Miss Portillo went to Metalillo Beach, right? Okay. Uh, how long was your vacation uh, to one with uh, Mr. Miss Portillo? Miss Portillo, right? So well, she stayed there for one week, all right? Uh, who were you with? Uh, with your family? Uh, okay. Miss. You're right, okay. Yeah. All right, let's do something more here, Anayansi. So we have three ideas, right? We have three ideas. So Miss Portillo went to Metalillo, right? And she is she stayed there for one week, I, I think, right? And she was with her family. All right? Yes? Okay. All right. 
Yeah, okay. Like that will, will be okay. And let me just, uh, the last question. So what would you like to do? Oh, I'm sorry, what would you like, what would Miss Susanna like to do on her, on her next vacation, right? Okay. What, mm -hmm. what did you do? Uh, enjoy jocotes, <laughs> and torrejas. Torrejas, all right. Okay, yes, yes. Uh, how was the weather? Sunny. It was, it was a sunny day, okay. Uh, what would you like to do on your next vacation? I will United States. Oh, she would like to go to the United States over there, all right? She would like to go to the United States. Thank you so much. All right. And we're going to do this like, like a follow-up. Vamos a hacerlo como, como rueda de caballito, ¿verdad? So now, Miss Portillo, you report about Miss Karina. Maybe you asked her, right? Did you ask about Miss Karina? No. Yes, teacher. Ms. Right, Karina. yeah. Could you report about her? And let me share the screen over here, right? Yes. Just to give you a demonstration, ¿verdad? En teoría, esto es lo que ustedes tendrían que mandarme a mí, ¿verdad? Lo que yo voy a escribir de, de Miss Karina. Go ahead, please. Yeah. Um, she was in Anaheim visit your best friend. Was in? Your best friend? Visit? Anaheim. Anaheim. And she was... Karina was in Anaheim. Mm -hmm. How do you spell mm -hmm. that? H, H before. Mm -hmm. Hannah. H, Anaheim. 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 All right. Thank e, you. Uh -huh. This is your best hey, hey. So, Sorry, teacher. What's the spelling? last one is uh, E, mm -hmm. I, M. Like that? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Sorry about that. Like Nancy, like that. Yep. Is that Is correct? Is your best friend? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was in Hannah. Uh, okay. She visited her best friend, her BF. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yes. What else? And she was uh, 50 days. She was over there, you know, two days, you said. 15. 15. Uh-huh, 15. 15 days. days. Uh-huh. She alone. All right. Uh, yeah, okay. All right. This uh, is your best friend, Gabriela. She visited her best friend, Gabriela. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And she played game, mechanic, mechanic game. Okay. I would say here she wrote on mechanic games such as the roller coaster, right? Mm -hmm. And this one, okay. Yeah. And she like have a mountain camp. All right. Let's see. Like she enjoy. Uh, having a mountain climb. Okay, mountain climbing, right? Okay. Okay. That's it? That's it. And what would you like to do? Uh, I'm sorry, what would Karina like to do on her next vacation, right? The same maybe or something else? Uh, visit the mountain. Visit the mountains again, all right? So you mm -hmm. can say she would like to visit the mountains. Okay. All right. There you go. So that's something that you, you can share with, with me in the chat. Um, what you have in there so I can check it out for you, Miss Portillo, and everybody else. All right? Okay. 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 Nice. And then you can finish over here. Yeah, she had, she definitely, right? Had an interesting vacation, period. That's it, right? It's just an example of what I'm sharing with you, right? You can do it better. Esto solamente es un ejemplo. 
Nice. Is there anybody else that would like to share uh, the information about a classmate? Alguien más quisiera compartir or we move on over here? All right, it's okay. All right, it's okay. Let's see here. And I, I was in California, right, Miss Karina? Okay, with an M. All right, All right so let's continue then. Um, in here. We're gonna close the night with a listening activity. We have five minutes for this. So listening, welcome back. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations, right where they went and what they did there. All right, so in your notebooks, write Jason and Barbara on two separate lines. So where they went, what they did, and did they enjoy it? Yes or no? This is what you're gonna listen to. And then you're gonna listen again and answer, did they enjoy their vacations? Check yes or no. So the first time you're gonna listen the place they went to, el lugar donde fueron, you know, where they went to, and then the activities that they did, all right? And number three, if they liked the experience or not, okay? Um, take notes, please, right now. Ya voy a reproducir esto and take notes, please, about this. Hagamos las tres columnas, si gustan, ¿verdad? The person, the, the place they went to, el lugar, and the, activi the activities and whether they liked it or not. Is it less for when experience or not, right? So try to do that. Um, one on one sessions. Vamos a ver a quien le corresponde esta noche. Permítame. One on one sessions over here. Uh, it will be Mr. Let's see, Mr. Oscar Gamero. All right, so it's your term, sir. Let me know if you can make it, All right? Mr. Oscar Gamero is gonna be your term for the one-on-one -on -one sessions tonight, okay? Uh, all right, so let me play the audio right now. Can I play it right now? Yes? Okay, hold on. Let me check it out. All right, so put on your uh, ear packs, right? Pongamos okay, nosotros audífonos. And listen up, please. Page 48, exercise 13, listening. Welcome back. Part A, listen to Jason and Barbara. Hold on. Let me just do something over here. I'm going to take notes as well. Vamos a tomar nota también aquí. All right. Talk about their vacations. Write where they went and what they did there. Jason, hi. Welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. It's a really pretty city. So, why San Francisco? Oh, my sister lives there. I stayed with her. She loves to shop, so we went shopping every day. Look, I got this sweater. Nice. I didn't go anywhere on my last vacation. I didn't have enough money to go anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation a lot. A friend from college stayed with me for a week. We just talked and watched a lot of old movies. That sounds fun, too. Okay, so let me ask you, so where did Jason go? And what would be the answer? On that one? San, San Francisco. Francisco. To San Francisco, California, right? Yes. What about Barbara? Did she go anywhere? Barbara? Did she um, did Barbara go anywhere or not? All right, maybe you didn't get it. So where did she go? Maybe nowhere, right? Ningún lugar, maybe. I don't know. Let's see. What about Jason? What did he do, right? What did he do? What he did? Okay. Um, he traveled with his sister. Yeah, she, I'm sorry, he went uh, shopping with his sister, right? Yes. Yes. And Barbara stayed home. Uh-huh. Watch a movie. 
watching, watching, movie. watching movies with 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 who? Con quién? With who? Alone or with somebody else? All right, let me play it again, right? Let me play it again and try to uh, write those details down. I'm going to play it again, okay? Vamos a reproducirlo una última vez más. The last time over here. Here we go. Page 48, exercise 13. Listening. Welcome back. Part A. Listen to Jason and Barbara talk about their vacations. Write where they went and what they did there. Jason, hi. Welcome back. You were away last week, right? Yeah, I was on vacation. Where did you go? I went to San Francisco. Nice. How was it? Oh, I loved it. It's a really pretty city. So, why San Francisco? Oh, my sister lives there. I stayed with her. She loves to shop, so we went shopping every day. Look, I got this sweater. Nice. I didn't go anywhere on my last vacation. I didn't have enough money to go anywhere. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, not really. I actually enjoyed my vacation a lot. A friend from college stayed with me for a week. We just talked and watched a lot of old movies. That sounds fun, too. Okay, so... Uh, did they enjoy the... Uh, I mean, their vacations? Both? Yes, yes. or no? Yes. 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 Correct. Yes. Yes. Correct. Yes. So we can say it, actually, just to say goodbye to you, my friends. We can say, uh, so Jason uh, went to San Francisco and visit, uh, he visited his... He sister. went shopping. Yeah. Uh, he went shopping with uh, his sister and he enjoyed it, right? Barbara stayed home. She didn't go anywhere. She stayed there. And she with, watched movie. Correct, correct. With uh, her her sister, I mean her 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 friend. I'm sorry, her friend from college. Watching, college, college friends. Uh -huh. Friend from college, correct. And they enjoyed it a lot. All right. So with this, I say goodbye. <laughs> okay. I hope to see you tomorrow on Thursday. Thanks for joining the class. And tomorrow we're gonna continue practicing the past. As you can see, I have more activities. Uh, ready for you, you know, yes, no questions, the explanation, this exercise, and we have some more things in there, right? Uh, so good night, everyone, and Mr. Oscar, if you could stay put for the one-on-one, -on -one. right? Goodbye, everybody. Hey, everyone. Bye. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Michelle, who's going for the session? Mr. Oscar. Ah. Problemas otra vez con la plataforma. Oops. Answer. ¿Quién va mañana? Yeah, ok. Uh, Flor. Flor is tomorrow. Mm. Uh, bueno. You, si may, uno... you may ask her if you can change, right? You may ask her if you could change, right? Consultele, a ver si puede. Ask her, please. Perfect. Right. Ok. See you tomorrow, yeah. sir. See you tomorrow, sir. Goodbye. All right, so Mr. Gamero, it's only you and I, please. Okay. All right, so uh, let me ask you, is, is this the first time that you are taking the INSAFOR program with us at Inglés Corporativo? Or were you here before? Your microphone is off, uh, Mr. Gamero. Okay. Uh, re repeat, please. Yes. Is this the first time that you are studying at INSA for, for in, at Inglés Corporativo? No, no. Uh, the Unit 3, mm -hmm. I course in another academy. Oh, okay, all right. So, in Inglés Corporativo. Inglés Corporativo, all right. Okay. Uh, so, in that case, I need to, uh, let's see, review. The uh, how can I say this? The rules that that is for uh, requests. Okay, 
To start with, you need to be in, in classes 80% of the time, all right? So to pass, and then you need to complete the platform and, and, and do the uh, satisfaction survey. You know that already. And something extra that we, we give you, if you stay in the other academy and this one is these 10 minutes, all right? In these 10 minutes, you can ask me questions about the class or we just can practice, but I can give you tips. Uh, so it's up to you. So you decide, you know, how you're going to uh, take advantage of these 10 minutes, okay? So do you have any questions for me about the grammar or about the class or the platform? Okay, uh, about the about the grammar okay. with, their, with the topic uh, going to. Oh, going to. Okay. All right. Uh, and, and, and let's see, what specifically do you need help about going to? Because going to is about the future, right? Okay. It's about the future, going to. All right. But let's see if I can give you an example in here. So take a look at my screen, please. All right. So take a look at this. The structure is be going to. All right. And in this, you need to follow the three um, forms of verb V, right? Which are am, um, is, or are. So this is a verb V conjugated, right? Conjugated, right? Conjugado, right? Conjugated. Okay. For example, Mr. Uh, Gamero, if you say tomorrow, all right, tomorrow you have to say I am, right? And then here, going to always, going to, and you have a plan, all right? We use going to for plans, all right? For plans or predictions, all right? Tomorrow you have a plan. Maybe I'm going to uh, visit my mother, let's say, all right? That's a plan that you have. And you say, I am, because you're using the verb be, right? A prediction, let's say, uh, like yesterday, it happened. Uh, El Salvador, all right? Uh, okay, let's say a prediction for the future. So El Salvador is going to, to use the Bitcoin, right? Because that's the breaking news right now. Is Bitcoin, um, and it's going to have have some risks, right? As you can see, that that's your prediction, my brother. As you can see, okay. What we're saying okay. it is because it's verb B, and then going to. And after the two, you need to have a verb with no changes at all, just like that. Okay, bro. Just like that. And if you make a question, you need to ask, like, if you're saying, are you, are you going to visit your mom? Go, are you going to visit your mom, let's say tomorrow, right? Okay. Just like that. It's and then Excuse me? It's for plane. For plane, you said. What do you mean? Yeah. For plane in the future. Uh, for plans, correct. It's for plans in the future. Yeah, correct. Okay. My, yes. my second topic is cool. Uh, could. Could. Cool, you might. Yes. Could. Yes. Could is yes. used. Okay, yeah. Could is used for possibilities and for requests. All right. Let me give you some examples over here. All right. Let me give you some examples. So could it means ability. All right. It means be able to ser capaz de hacer algo, be able to do something. All right. And it also used for requests like that. Okay. For example, you can say, I could uh, ride a bike 
when I was, let's see, 10 years old. Okay, it's an ability because you don't have that ability anymore. Okay, it's in the past, right? It's an ability in the past. Now, a request, you can ask me, hey, Jose, could you explain, okay, to me, be going to, all right? Like that, it's a request and it's a polite request, right? It's a polite request, right? Meaning that you ask me as a favor, right? With a good intonation, like that, Cortez, polite request, okay? Uh, yeah, I think that's it, basically, that's good, all right? And some people, some people say that could, all right, is the past of can, all right? That's what people say. Because right now I can tell you, hey, I can uh, speak Spanish right now, all right? Okay. What I can tell you, mm -hmm. I can speak English right now, but I couldn't speak English 20 years ago, all right? Now, oh, okay. For an ability. For an ability in the, uh, yeah. Can is the present and could is the past. I oh, just okay. it. Yes. I confuse that word, uh, clothes, with wool. Wood. Okay. Wood. Yes, it, it's my, it, that is my problem. All right, I yeah. Use this word cool and, and wool. But I'm glad, Mr. Mr. Gamero, that you asked wood. There is, there is something called moral words, right? Moral words. Okay, okay. yes. And you have a can, mm -hmm. could, would, and the ones we cover, it was last week, right? Might. May, yes. right, I'm gonna write like this, right? Um, yeah, basically this ones, right? These are the most common ones. Can, could, would, might, and may, those are modal verbs, all right? Remember, would, you use would, okay, with like to, to offer something, I'm sorry, uh, to offer something, all right? Or to ask for help, like, would you like a cup of coffee, right? Would you like? Huh? Would you like mm -hmm. a cup of coffee, right? Like Doña Florinda, right? To Professor Hirafale, right? Would you like yeah. a cup of coffee? Perfect. Just like that. And one more thing, if you put wood, for example, let me tell you this. Um, I would... Uh, let's see okay listen to this imagine that you have a trip right you have a trip to uh for let's see to the united to the usa right but you are not sure right about it mm -hmm. okay you're not sure about it so you have let's say two options let's say uh either tomorrow mm -hmm. all right tomorrow or next week Let's see, next week. So you can say, um, there's a condition, right? There's a condition, right? You can say, I would go tomorrow if the ticket that is shipped. You see? Mm -hmm. It's a condition, right? Because you don't know if this is going to happen, right? You say I, yes. I will I will go tomorrow, right? Because you have the ticket already. You will future, but in this case, you are not sure. It's a possibility. It, you know? it is same, maybe. Correct. You can say that. Like 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 I said before, you you will go like it's hypothetical situation, right? Hypothetical situation. Okay. You haría things like that, right? Viajaría things like that. Okay. Perfect. And that's the main difference in there, sir. That's the main difference. Okay. So okay. let me ask you, so how do you like the experience uh, being here with us? Okay. And uh, uh, it's it's a, I, mean, I mean, in classes. Pepper? I'm sorry, what do, you, what do you think of the classes uh, here at, uh, at Inglés Corporativo, you know? Uh, okay, I prefer the class. Okay. 
Okay, okay. It, it's the truth. It, it's more uh, dynamics. Dynamic. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, we make a homework all days. Yes, correct. Yes. Right. Yes. It's better. It's better to practice, right? Yes, I like that, yeah. and I like the the yeah, exercise. The exercise. The yeah. the the weird, uh, online exercise in yes. the class. Yes. Yes, that's yes, good. I like that. Yes. I, I'm asking you, Mr. Gamero, because since you are new, you can help me a lot, and you can help English Corporativo, you know, to do things better. Right, because you are new, right? Because you yes, have the, you, you have the experience, you know, from somewhere else. In another academy, uh, it is a true. Not no homework. Okay. Yes, all the people think it's very easy, but no, no. I need to learn. I need yes. to learn. No, no, no easy. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. Um, you need I, to. I you need to have a challenge. You, you need you need a challenge. Yes. You know, it's yes. a challenge. Correct. Yes, correct. And in this and in this class, uh, I see that. Yes, yes, and that's the idea. You know, you need yes. to produce. You need to produce the language. You know. Yes. Yes. All right. In, in my in my company, uh, another co work things mm -hmm. change. To English corporative. Okay, that's good. All right. I hope yeah. uh, your your colleague has a has a good experience. All right. Yes. Too. Okay. Good. Yeah. Something that I can tell you is that this place is very organized. Even with teachers, they're very organized. All right. Yes. Very organized. And and uh, I admire that from from this place because I also work for another school. And I work for a, a different school on Saturday, and I can compare that. All right. So, yes. what? So, Mr. Gamero, it's time. It's time to go. Welcome aboard. Okay. All right. Um, okay. And hope to see you tomorrow. Right. Okay. See you right. tomorrow. Thank you for this time. You're welcome, sir. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow.